So today we're doing the teams that have never won a World Series rebuild. I can only use players from teams that never won a World Series. Pretty self-explanatory, right? Well, the Nationals used to be one, but they just checked that off their list winning that World Series. So we have six teams to choose players from. We have the Rangers, Mariners, Padres, Rockies, Brewers, and the Rays. So those are the six teams that we can choose players from so i've compiled some of the best players possible and we're gonna see if we can get a world series with these players i think this team is actually really good and i don't see why we aren't going to be able to win a world series so i'm pretty excited about it so if you guys enjoyed today's video hit the thumbs up down below subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content and as always in the comment section let me know future videos you would like to see yesterday i uploaded kind of late so if you missed yesterday's video we started off with an off-season rebuild with the atlanta Braves, who just signed will smith go check it out we created a super team the team was nuts almost every single player was a 90 overall you need to go check it out it was solid so that's really about it so the video's on screen it's going to be in the top right hand corner as well so with that being said all social media are in the description below and again guys thumbs up subscribe if you're new and hit that like button you know leave a comment leave a comment for sure so Without any further ado, let's get into this rebuild. All right, so the Mariners, we're gonna use the Mariners, and then um, we'll uh, we're gonna go with one or two season. We're gonna see how we can do, um, and uh, we'll we'll give it a couple attempts because I feel like we have a really good team. Let's just see what we can do. Um, let's let's kind of go like that. Let's just go like that. Ignore budgets is on because the team we have is stacked with some pretty bad contracts. So we got to be careful with what we can do. So we're going to hop into the regular season. Let me get this lineup set up and I'll talk to you guys in a sec. All right. So we're going to take a look really quickly because I already know we're ranked first in a lot. Like we're ranked first overall, but we have the best defense, second pitching, second power, second contact and 12th speed. This team is nutty. Let's go take a look at it. So starting pitching, we have Blake Snell. Herman Marquez, Charlie Morton, Mike Miner, and Chris Paddock. These were kind of the best pitchers that I kind of thought between all the teams. Um, I feel like this is kind of the weakest area for the teams. I mean, when I was thinking of other players we could have gone with, um, I just, I really couldn't think of other ones um, that I was like too confident in picking. So these were the ones I went with. Relief pitching, again, bullpen's kind of scarce. Um, not not the best of options. The Rockies is kind of shaky. Obviously, the Rangers is not the best. The Mariners is not the best. Um, the Brewers, you know, you have Josh Hader, um, but, you know, kind of shaky there too. So overall, I feel like these teams definitely need to improve the pitching. I feel like the Rays had the best pitching available. And you guys can see we had Castillo. We already went with Morton and Snell. Um, but we do have Jeffers and then um, Robbie Erlin as well from the Padres. And then for closing pitchers, this is where I kind of went a little bit overboard. We have Hayter, Alvarado, and Yates. So we got we got some solid options here. And I feel like the bullpen's pretty strong um, since we took the best available. So then next up is catchers. We went with Narvaez and Hedges. I felt like the catching position was probably the weakest out of the entire thing. Um, you got Hedges and Mejia for the Padres. The Rangers, you have... Kiner Falefa and what Jeff Mathis maybe uh the Rays you had Zunino and I forgot uh Darno you got the Rockies Tony Walters come on and then the Brewers is no longer Grandal so that's why I didn't consider him otherwise I would have definitely thrown him in there and then the Mariners, we have Narvaez. So I felt like Narvaez and Hedges, probably the best ones available. Uh, first base, we got one. It's going to be Daniel Vogelbach. I felt like let's just get Vogi involved. He'll be a good power hitter for us. Second base, we have Brandon Lau. Um, there was a couple other options. We could have gone with Odor. Um, but you know what? I felt like Brandon Lau had a really good season this year. We'll go with him. Third base, Arenado and Machado. Pretty, pretty easy calls for third base here shortstop we have story andrews and tatis jr all really solid shortstops not too sure how we're going to get them all involved but we got a stacked shortstop spot left field joey gallo gotta go joey gallo for sure domingo santana was a possibility um will byers maybe uh definitely david Dahl, maybe even charlie blackman for the right field spot but I wanted to switch it up. I wanted to try to get every single team incorporated. And then in center field, we have Lorenzo Cain. Definitely could have gone Kevin Kiermeyer here. Um, but I went with Kane. And then in right field, we went Yelich, 
Haniger, and Austin Meadows. So I decided to go with an AL team so we could at least have that extra bat spot with the DH. And that's why I kind of went with a little bit overboard with the offensive players. So the lineup, I'm still kind of figuring out how we're going to do it. But this is kind of what we're working with. It's a crazy good team. I don't want Meadows this high up. I'll probably go kind of like this. But whew, this team is stacked. Um... Maybe even take Machado out and go, or not Machado, uh, Vogelbach and go Joey Gallo and just kind of go like that. Um, this team is scary good. I'll definitely switch up the lineup um, here and there. Just kind of go like, uh, maybe like that. Take him out, go Joey Gallo. Trevor Story needs to get in as well. Maybe him at second base and go like that. And then uh, we'll, just, we'll just keep going like this. I feel like the team's really good. I'm liking what we have here. Um, like I said, maybe just take out Vogelbach in general, keep him on the bench, and then I need a left fielder. Uh, let's, let's go with Mitch Haniger there. Yeah, let's try that out. And then for the last sort of thing here, I do want Tatis to get involved, but I don't think he overtakes anybody. So let's go first base, we'll go Joey Gallo. Left field, we'll go Mitch Haniger. Yeah, let's go with that. So that's the team. I like it. It's pretty solid. Um, really the only change, I mean, the only weak spot is Austin Meadows and he's not even that weak. So I'm liking the team. I'm pretty excited to see how this plays out. Um, we'll take a look at the pitching staff really quick. You guys can kind of see it. It looks strong. It looks really strong. Um, could possibly use an extra reliever, but I think we'll be okay. So let's see how this season plays out. If it doesn't go too well, we'll do a second season to see how, uh, how we do, but I don't think I'll really change anybody. I'm pretty happy with the choices I made. Let's see how this season plays out. All right. So this season is coming to an end. We're at 95 games one, and I think we're going to make the postseason for sure. As the sneeze is coming up, am I get, am I going to get through it? All right. We got past the sneeze. So 105 wins, as you guys can now see on screen. 58 losses, solid one, the division taking on the Indians in the division series. So we didn't even get the, the best AL record. Are you serious? The Astros were right behind us. So who got 109 wins and 103? The AL this year was nuts. Okay, um, let's take a look at league leaders, batting average. And then it Kirby Yates and Herman Marquez. So, so far, so good. I'm liking what I'm seeing. And then let's take a look at awards. Silver Slugger, Gold Glove, and a Cy Young. You're telling me Edwin Encarnacion had a 305 average, 143 RBIs, and it... Huh? Are you kidding me? As if Edwin is doing that. Blake Snell, Cy Young. Okay, ERA is a little high for a Cy Young. Hmm, interesting. I'm uh, I'm intrigued by that. I don't really understand it. But let's take a look. Blake Snell, Cy Young winner. There you go. There's his stats. Uh, Charlie Morton, not not amazing. Not amazing indeed. Uh, Erman Marquez, solid season. I would would have given him the Cy Young instead. Mike Miner was strong, and then these two were definitely our four and five for sure. Robbie Erlin. Lights out, perfect. Alvarado was great. Castillo was great. Jeremy Jeffers, not so much. Josh Hader was pretty solid. And Kirby Yates, not so much. So let's let's swap those two. See how that goes. Maybe even we'll, we'll leave it like that. I don't want to change it up too much. Things were clicking. We might as well just keep it going. So on the bench, Daniel Vogelbach, pretty solid. Austin Hedges, not as good. Mitch Haniger was solid. I love to see that. 10 home runs, 34 RBIs, 18 doubles. Four triples, seven stolen bases. I'll take that for sure, especially in limited appearances. Um, Tatis Jr. was solid, and so was Elvis Andrews. So our bench, really good. Love to see it. When we take a look at our starting lineup, Lorenzo Cain, almost 300. Love it. Got it. 41 doubles, even better. Trevor Story, what is that? 217, not good enough. Definitely need to improve there. Um, Christian Yelich, crazy good stats. Amazing. Love it. Arenado, he was the batting title winner, so clearly he had a good year. 107 RBIs, 38 home runs, 323 average. I'll take that any day. Manny Machado, 30 home runs, 101 RBIs. 262 average is not amazing, but 
you know what? He had the home runs and RBIs, so I guess I'll give him a little bit of a pass. Austin Meadows, almost a 300 average, amazing. Home runs, not too high, but 420 at bats, nice. And then uh, Joey Gallo, 234 average with 33 home runs, 95 RBIs. That's a Joey Gallo season for sure. Narvaez is a glitch for a catcher. If you ever need a catcher for franchise, go pick up Omar Narvaez. 22 home runs as well, 24, uh, 24 doubles, 312 average almost and a 919 OPS take that any day and then Brandon Lau very solid season 27 doubles 17 home runs and 62 RBIs with a 281 average gotta love it great great offensive season loving what we were able to do taking on the Indians now and uh we advance perfect so game one let's get the lineup all situated and get it going the way I want it to you know what I just don't trust Charlie Morton I don't know why I just don't so let's get into this series against the Red Sox and we're one game away from advancing and we're facing elimination here so we, we gotta win a World Series here we can't be denied we're at T-Mobile Park we're gonna have Marquez take the mound Narvaez is tired but you know what I have faith so that is not Andrew Benatendi <laughs> that's definitely not Andrew Benatendi Bogarts goes deep that's a little disappointing but I was just so distracted by the fact that Mookie Betts was on Benatendi's name it was weird but can we get that run back that would be huge um what's going on here two nothing not the best we got to get this run we got to get it back come on what's going on here why aren't we getting this there we go there's the bats there's that offense Marquez, can you give me at least like five innings, six innings? That'd be huge. Maybe one more inning from you. Perfect. All right. So we got six out of him. Our offense has stalled for sure. We got seven out of Marquez. 100% done. That's huge. Sack fly, please. Sack fly, please. I'll swing once. Okay. We'll swing twice. Sack fly gets the run in. Perfect. And then Mitch is the man. He gives us a two run lead. Then Narvaez goes deep. That's even better. And uh, I'm loving what I'm seeing. Another run, five runs, six runs in the inning. It's going great. All right, pitching change. Let's go to, oh, wow. Our staff is uh, looking a little little tired. Um, Let's go Yates. Not the best, but you know what? It's all right. It's only one run. There we go. The Mariners won the ALCS. We're taking on the Dodgers in the World Series. Um, Who's pitching? Mike Miner. No, 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 no. Um, let's go Blake Snell Marquez maybe there and we go like this yeah I like that Chris Paddock is not doing well either so let's flip them and uh, let's see what we can do against the Dodgers here we go game one we won game two we won as well game three we lost let's not get reverse swept it is time to close it out time to get that World Series and uh, Dodger Stadium, Blake Snell's on the mound. He's having a great postseason, which is good to see. Can we get the win? That's a good start. Trevor Story, Arenado. All right, there we go. One more at least. We got that two-run lead. We just got to hold it now. That's a good start. Can Blake Snell bring in the run? He does with the sack fly. Perfect. So we got a three-run lead. I just need Blake Snell to just do what he does, pitch well. What is going on with this team? This team is amazing right now. 5 nothing, No runs have scored. We're tearing apart the Dodgers right now. Let's get maybe one or two more runs. And then I'll be like 100% sure this game is ours. And the World Series is ours. Double play. That was huge. No run score once again. Blake Snell's pitching well. So I don't want to take him out. Let's keep going. All right. One run scores. That's okay. Let's see if we can get another run in. Vogelbox up. Let's uh let's let's just get some other guys involved. Let's get uh, Elvis Andrews involved. Runner was thrown out at home. That's unfortunate. Joey Gallo gets on. You know what? No, he's 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 pitching too well. I can't take him out. As I say that, what happens? We're in trouble. All right. Man, that is really unfortunate. What is going on here? All right, sack bunt one out. We just got to keep playing the matchups. Jeremy Jeffers ah tie ball game what happened it just all went oh man that was bad 
All right, right here. This is our inning. I feel it. Hmm. Tenth inning. Oh man, this is getting intense now. There's that's good. Okay, double play. Really? Um, let's go, Lau. Double. Come on, Kane. Trevor Story. Trevor Story with the three-run bomb. Are you kidding me? That's huge. We're gonna go, Josh Hader. Yeah, Josh Hader. Double play. Solo home run. Please stop. There we go. The Mariners won the World Series, and that is that. We get the World Series. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. MVP for the playoffs was Omar Narvaez, and World Series MVP was Brandon Lau. No home runs, no RBIs, but he's the MVP. And then we got Narvaez, who had a great postseason. Amazing postseason. Amazing. So let's take a look at the pitching staff. Um, Paddock was a little shaky. Snell was amazing. 32 innings. That's great. Love to see it. Mike Miner was okay. Not the best. Marquez, not the greatest. So our starters... Not too great. It's looking like the bullpen carried the team. Not Castillo, but uh, the rest of the guys looks like they, they did their job and things went well. And offensively, I'm assuming we did really well. Um, the bench was decent. And then when you look at the lineup, Christian Yellow struggled a bit, a little bit. Trevor Story came seven home runs and he wasn't the postseason MVP. Um, Arenado did well. Machado did well. Meadows was okay, not the best. Joey Gallo does Joey Gallo things. Narvaez was great and then Brandon Lau was solid so there we go World Series in the books for the Mariners and we did the teams with no World Series rebuild and one season we were able to do it and win the World Series I mean the team was stacked and that's what kind of happens when you take the best of every team so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content and as always let me know which video you would like to see next on screen now are going to be two videos one that YouTube recommends you check out and our most recent rebuild or video I should say and that is actually the offseason rebuild for the Braves go check out any of those videos if you messed or not messed up but if you missed out on them so there you go guys I'll catch you on the next one peace